Really, this isn't even a hack. It's just what works on all three platforms right now. TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. The fastest and easiest way to grow social media right now is short form videos. Forget long format, short videos are the way to go. I'll explain why and I'll tell you exactly what my strategy would be if I was starting from scratch in 2020 and I wanted to grow my social media. And how I'm personally changing things up to accommodate the new algorithms of social media. But first, just like I need to tweak my social media strategy, I think we need to change things up at the office a little bit. There's also an ungodly amount of boxes that I should probably get to. This is, this is starting to reach peak stress levels. <laughs> That's looking much better, cleaner, tighter, except for... I don't like it. Redo it! Literally just got another, another package. Okay, so with the rise of TikTok, every other company has gotten spooked and they are all pushing out short form videos, namely Instagram and YouTube. You post a photo on Instagram, crickets. You post a reel, the views just, they pour in. The algorithms have been tweaked so that if you post more short form videos, you will get more views and more subs. But it's not just because the algorithms are being tweaked, it's also just the nature of short form video. Let's say you sit down and watch videos. If you're watching short videos, you can watch maybe a hundred videos in one sitting, whereas if you're watching long videos, you're only gonna watch maybe five to 10 at most. That person is then introduced to more accounts because they're going through 100 videos versus the long videos, much less accounts because they're only seeing a five, 10 videos. And that means there's more opportunities for us creators to get subs or followers. Plus you can make way more short videos in the same time it would take you to make one long video. Again, more opportunities to get more views and more subscribers. But that doesn't mean that long format videos are dead, not by a long shot. And I'll explain what I'm doing personally when it comes to short form videos. We need to start thinking of short form videos as almost our discovery to our channels or to our accounts. It's, it's kind of like the hook or the advertisement or the door to our channel or account. Right now, it's 10 times faster to grow through short videos versus long videos, even on YouTube. For example, to give you some proof, Karen X Chen on Instagram. I shouted her out a couple of years back and she just had like a couple thousand followers, was making some little videos, and then Reels came into the picture and now she has 1.1 million followers and is collabing with little people like Richard Branson. I don't even have a million followers on Instagram. Not impressive yet? Okay, how about Daniel LaBelle? He was posting some photos, little videos on Instagram, and then again, Reels came into the picture, all of them getting <laughs> hundreds of thousands, millions of views, and he now has 2.2 million followers on Instagram. Not that big? Okay, on TikTok, his first post was in 2020. He now has 26 million followers on TikTok. Still not impressed? Okay, maybe you're saying that YouTube is not the same, it's not like TikTok, it's not like Instagram. YouTube, he started two years ago posting some videos on there and he now has currently 11,700,000 subscribers on YouTube. Two years, 11 million? Do you know how long it took MKBHD to get to 10 million subscribers posting long format, high quality, high production value videos about technology. It took him 11 years, 11 years. Daniel LaBelle did in a fraction because of these short form videos. Do you believe me now that short form videos are good for growth? So if I was starting from scratch and wanted to build my social media presence in 2022, Here's what I would do. Number one, what you gotta do is pick an area that you are really passionate about, you're very skillful in, and you absolutely love, to the point that you would make the videos even if nobody else was watching them. For example, for me, I love 
camera gear. I love filmmaking. I love this whole space. Thank you, Insta360, for sending me the invisible drone. Oh, this makes your drone into like a 360 camera so the drone disappears. Just like the, the selfie stick disappears, the drone disappears and you can choose whatever angle you want. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Insta360. Coffee from Acura. <laughs> Smells delicious, thank you. Number two, you're gonna start making short videos that are very engaging about that area. Tyler, do you need some coffee? They need to be very engaging. Get straight to the point, highly informative, highly interesting, or highly entertaining. Preferably all three of those. Don't just do the trends. Make really good content that's just shorter format. I love it when Red Bull sends these. Oh, new flavor, okay. Summer edition, we got apricot strawberry. Throw the little one, then you try to get the big oh, one no, on. That's like bocce ball. Bocce ball, but sandbag version. Sweet. We're running a little low. This guy just keeps drinking all of the Red Bulls. No matter how much Red Bull I bring into the office, we banished him. It is bocce, full rules and everything. Then what you're gonna do is post those on all three platforms, on YouTube, on Instagram, and TikTok. The great thing is all three platforms grow the fastest on short videos, so very, very efficient. Oh, this was heavier than I thought. Aperture hooking us up. New 60D? Oh man, okay, I have a lot to play with. 600D? I see what they're doing here. They're trying to, they're trying to compete with my <laughs> big boy softbox. Their new F22 light mat. Aperture, very generous of you. Thank you. Time to swap out some stuff, upgrades. Number four, once you refine and get better at making those short videos, eventually they will start to catch and start to gain an audience probably on one of the platforms first, but then once it gets to a good, good level, all of the platforms will start to grow. And that is when I would say, start to make some long format videos. EcoFlow sent me a portable air conditioner. That is incredible. My cottage, correction, my parents' cottage does not have air conditioning. It is very hot in the summer. This will make for some better sleeping arrangements. I would hold off on the long format videos for a little while because nobody's gonna be seeing them and they don't attract much of an audience right now. So it's a, it's a little bit of a waste. Like once you start getting an audience, then those long format videos are also gonna be getting more views and so it kind of makes it more worth it instead of putting a whole bunch of time into long videos that are well produced and stuff and nobody's seeing them. Now there is the argument that you do need to make those long format videos so you get better at making the long formats, but I feel like if you get good at the short form, it's kind of easy to expand out from there. Oh, these, oh, these are, these are samples for the new Enomo stuff. Woo! Tyler, should I show that? I don't know if I should show these uh. yet. New version of the hoodie. We're expanding the line from black clothes. Mmm, so much to try on. Oh, this is like, this is Christmas. Getting samples of the designs that we've been working on. Oh, I'll tease this a little bit. You saw that earlier, it looked a little different. May or may not be one side more plain, the other side a little bit more stylized. And lastly, step five, you would continue to make the short form videos for growth and the long formats to kind of bring the audience in more, get them to get to know you and your brand more. And then more importantly, for the business side, to actually make the money. I feel like long format videos are still much more easy to make money from. You're gonna get more money from sponsors. You can shout out your clothing line or or your digital products. Uh, we just launched the Scando motion graphics pack. Uh, it's literally everything you would need for a YouTube channel from intro graphics to lower thirds to title cards to chapters if you're talking through points like these to subscribe button before and afters verses all of that stuff everything built into one pack scando 
If you have no motion graphics, this is the complete pack. Save yourself the time. Trust me, I've learned my lesson. It is way faster to just use these Mogurts motion graphic packs. They're so easy to just drag and drop, start using them, change the text, boom, done. That's it. So yeah, long format videos, still much easier to monetize, to build your brand. Perfect example is how many TikTok account people do you know, like you recognize them? but you have absolutely no idea what their name is, what they do, where they even live, and nothing about them. I literally do not know their name. And that's, I think, where long format video is just so much stronger. You really build this like connection, this almost relationship with the people that you watch. TikTok, I got none of that. New Benny collection, DB, this is, I, I really like these. Especially this backpack is really stylish, really nice, I love the gold and black color scheme. And then you just grab one of these camera cubes, get all your stuff in there, fits perfectly into the backpack so you can use the backpack as a camera backpack or just a normal one very quickly, very easily. I actually really like these, these are great bags. Comfy? A little tight, <laughs> a little tight. But. You need the size up. Best part about having your own clothing line is I can wear it and then be like, oh, I kind of wish this was different. And then we could tweak it and reiterate and make it better every time, so. Be a new tag. Oh, also that. Long format videos aren't dead. They just aren't as good for discovery as they once were. It has now shifted over to the short form videos. Oh, this is stuff I'm not allowed to show you yet. This one also. Three for three, blur that out. Not allowed to show these yet. So the question is, am I gonna start doing all of the TikTok trends and just, just optimizing for growth? No but I am gonna try to figure out a way that works really well for me in terms of short form video. I think I'd be stupid not to take advantage of the potential growth, the discovery that you can get from short form videos, but I don't wanna do it like everybody else is doing it right now. I'm trying to think more, where is this short form video gonna be in a few years from now and start building towards that instead of just doing all of the very basic trends that are happening right now, which I don't think work as well as you think they work. At the same time, I'm 100% gonna be focusing way more on my long format videos like these, building that connection, building the brand, I think it just works way better. Plus, I think right now I still enjoy making these long format videos more because I can tell more of a story, whereas with a short video, you kind of just have to like get to the point, get to, you know, long format we have, we have a little bit more time. Algorithms are changing, we don't have as much time, but we still have a little bit more time. There's so much value in this for both you and for me. And if you are not growing in 2022, don't hate the game hate the player. Unfortunately, it is your fault. I, I, you can't blame the algorithm for lack of growth. You have to learn how to play the game. And the game right now is short form video. So I wish you all the luck. I hope this helped you. Uh, may the algorithm gods be forever in your favor. Good luck. This, we just had this so clean and now it's Disaster zone. Oh, oh, this is, oh, sorry, Aperture. Thank you again for sending all these. I'm gonna do a TikTok dance to like make a joke at the end, but I realized I don't, I can't dance and I don't know. <laughs> Here I am just with my big monitor. In a messy, messy office.